Hey, what's up, guys? X is here, and today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on Photoshop. Um, basically, the tutorial is about um how to make a very dramatic and good effect on your photos of your loved ones, or in this case, weddings. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. So, getting into this tutorial, I wanna make a very blurish, very, very like contrasted picture with this photo I found in stock vault please check them out I yeah I just got it from there alright so first thing you want to do is you want to hold down shift and make a very clean circle around the faces or anything you try to make the effect on why is it doing that okay whatever alright you can center in the picture if you want to make a better effect. Okay, once you do that, you want to go to select, modify, feather, feather it. If you have a high res photo like I do, you want to feather it to 55 pixels or more if you want to. Press OK, and then you want to go to Command or Control Shift I if you're a Mac user or Windows. And then you want to go to Control J. And then after that, simply go to your background layer. No, sorry. Then click Control J again. Make a copy of that layer. Go to your layer one. Go to Edit. Right. Yes, go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Again, if you have a high-res photo, I'll suggest 8.0 pixels. Press OK. And then go back to your for the layer copy. Make it visible again. Press Control J. Make this one not visible. Go to Layer 1 Copy. Go to Select. No, go to Filter. Sorry, I'm messing up. I did this like 10 times already. It's getting annoying. All right, go to Filter. Radial blur, make the amount to 25 pixels or more again, and then make the blur method to zoom quality to good or best. If you want, if you want to wait the while for it to render, go to good, press 25 pixels, center it to best of you can. I don't have to because I already did this. Press OK. Make it render. Make it letter render. Okay, once you do that, I don't know, wait, delete this layer, sorry, sorry. Delete the layer 1 copy 2. Yes, and then go to image, no, layer, new fill layer, solid color, press OK, make it white or any other color, doesn't matter. Go to normal or, no, go to color. Sorry. Click on the color. I like to have it. If you want another dramatic effect, it can be any color you want, really. But I think I think this color, or close to orange, is the best, in my opinion. In my opinion, it can be anything for you. It doesn't really matter. You want to lower the opacity to 70%. And then once you do that, go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then curves. Press OK. And then go to black. Fill in the black. As you can see, it gives it a nice, when I say nice, I mean nice, nice contrast to the, any dark colors. And then go, skip the gray. Gray doesn't really matter in this case. And then press the white gives a very nice effect and then once you did that you want to simply go back to your color fill layer whatever and put the opacity higher since you did that I give it 85 and then after that this is one of the last parts you want to press control J to make a new layer of the, of the background copy and then you want to go to layer oh, I'm sorry 
filter, blur, and then radial blur, zoom, but this time you want it has 20 as much as you had last time, so this time you'll put it at 45, and then zoom, blur method, zoom, quality good, okay, I won't have to render it, I mean, I won't have to center it, because I'm going to lower the opacity, so let it render again. Okay, once you do that, I know it looks sloppy right now, but the effect comes in when you lower the opacity to 50. Okay, so it gives it a very nice effect, in my opinion. You can do more, I guess. I don't know. You can make the image contrast. Oh, wait. Control Z that. You can do as more effects as you can but this is the basics and yeah this has been x crayolas um subscribe fave like if you can and yeah bye